In this video, we're going to be modeling a simple Mac head. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a cube. Uh, let's do the cube here. And we need to scale it a bit, right? So scale it here on Y and a bit on X. And we're going to pop a loop here in the middle, GG, and scale it a little bit like that. Cool. We're going to pop another loop here in the bottom and then E, F, and flip it. So it follows the bottom edge here. And let's grab that and scale it on X. And then we're going to bevel this and bevel this, All right? Cool. Then we're going to bevel this edge here. And is this actually the scale applied? Let's just apply scale here. There we go, that's better. And then in fact, this is also uneven here. Let's just apply scale everywhere. So now let's apply scale and let's run some bevels. So a bevel here, a bevel here, and a bevel here. Alt X. Maybe this one is a little bit too big. Maybe something like this. Actually, larger is going to be better. Yeah. And here we could have actually a chamfer. Oh, screw it, let's go with the bevel too. So, sharpen. It's auto save it now. I'm gonna change it to one minute because I'm working pretty fast. So, here we're going to um, create a chamfer. Okay. And we're also gonna create a chamfer here. All right. PG. I like it. Okay. So now let's uh, let's cut this here like that. There's a B for bevel X, and in fact, let's put X three times. This is gonna be an inset. Then you can press T to adjust the thickness of it and space. How we're looking? We're not looking too terrible. Shift control, click on sharpen to uh, fix the auto smooth. Nice, I like that. Cool. So this is good, and we can actually slice it in here like this. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me just add a bevel because I can see how it goes. Wait, it almost. It's a bit of a shading problem, but it's not a big deal. Press one here to round out this bevel, and uh, good to go. Awesome. So now. You know, we could add some loops here just to fix the shading a bit. And here I'm thinking we could actually slice this. I think it's going to look a bit more dynamic. Cool. Now here in the front we need some cube, scale it in, scale it down. We see that. Uh, Okay, so let's cut it, hang on, maybe something like this, how is this going to look, it's so so, how about this, mm, a bit better, well that's not terrible. Let me see that. Just select loop with mesh, mesh machine. I'll text to the other side how we're looking. We're not looking too terrible. We're not looking too terrible. Let's just uh, cut this here. And B for bevel. Interesting. Cool. In fact, what we could have here, could have two notches. 
Awesome. Okay, so that's that. Then we need some kind of a cylinder here, maybe 50 and scale is here. I mean, rotate it. And, you know, this could be actually ideal size here. Kind of big like that. You know. Um, make it a bit wider, maybe. Mm, I'm thinking maybe smaller. Hang on, let me just change it here to global. As shift X and maybe it should be somewhere here. Oh, this could be better. We could even rotate this a bit. Control R with edge constraint. You know, just saying. How are we looking? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Misa likes. So now here we have a choice, right? What we could do is um, difference, then grab that, shift D, uh, then grab this one and Q and settings and shift uh, sheet solid. So you're gonna create a solid um, shape out of this, which is pretty cool. And uh, this will allow us to create this nice cutout and to fill the hole in the side, what we can do is just, you know, LTM macro here. Okay, so you see you're gonna have this gap here, but it's gonna be filled in the inside. Okay, now here we could have some fun. And that will do, right? And then we can get some cuts later on on this one. Cool. Say so another cube here. And I'm thinking about creating some kind of a, you know, shape here. Like that. Now I don't know if I want a cut or I want actually a shape. Hmm. And Blender is going to crash again. Well, what is going on with Blender, man? I think I need to update to 3.5. I think the new one dropped recently. Okay. Um, so we, we're back here. Now. Maybe I'm going to cut this. I don't know. Let's apply scale here and... Of all this, let me just slice this thing on. Oh, in fact, what we could do is GG. Mm, do I want to slice this? Well, that's actually quite interesting. Um, Let's just sharpen that. Let me see. That is not bad, but we do need something here. So I have a scroll and settings and sheet solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this and round it up here like that. We could cut it here with a cube beveled one a little bit right. shift t to taper okay and bring it in a little bit yeah there we go it's cool i like that and just run the bevel here small one okay awesome now we need something on top here so another cube and let's just do something like this and then chamfer it and then chamfer it here sh 
sharpen this, apply scale, and then I'm gonna bevel this. We're looking. Hmm, maybe it's too big. Let's make this a bit smaller. I rotate it. Oh, that's not bad actually. Let's do that. So, Boolean's Union. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And here now we could have some kind of a, you know, interface, uh, whatnot. I'm not sure what, it, what I want here. Maybe a screen, you know. Literally screen yeah it's pretty cool so let's have that and then what we could do is select them both and cut them here like this you want to follow a line here that is b x and slice it you're gonna get these two parts here which is kind of cool and this one could be chamfered so you need to run it from here all the way here and chamfer it. It's gonna separate this really nicely here. And the same here. Could run a chamfer, just a small one. Yeah, it's going to separate things really nicely now. This one technically we don't need it, so we can just solve it. And it's gonna fix itself here. We got some problems, so just you know, let me see that what's going on here. Yeah, we don't need these, so I'll just dissolve them and three to clean it. Let me see. Um, combine these two, sort it right, and uh, Bob Jonko. That looks pretty nice here, too. We could slash this front. So we could do something like this and then run it down here and you know here and here and then bevel it too so kind of curves nicely x and slash then you got the front piece so you know you can clearly see how this bot is constructed and we could also have some uh, chamfer here, you know. Let me just go here to local view. And just run a small chamfer. I'm looking here. Uh, wait. I think there is a mirror running on this one. Let's just go with smart apply here for a sec. Oh Jesus. How am I so weird? It's really weird to hear what happened. Let's just fix that. needs to be connected so there is no shading problem and just alt text to the other side cool okay now you know this one could be applied here and we could just l p selections i got two separate pieces and we could create some kind of cuts here maybe to the other side in the bottom yeah there we go think that's enough and the rest can be done with decals guys so if you don't have to do it with geo you know do it with decals yeah 
Here we could have some kind of um, kind of locking mechanism or something. Hang on. Also, we need to fix this rubbish here. So let's just dissolve that and combine these. And well, combine combine these two. And then Altex, right? And then here. What's going on here? Ah, this is this edge is a bit too close. So GG, move it down. It's overshooting with the bevel. Altex done. Uh, any more problems? No, I think here got some issues. Ah, this is actually interesting. We can remove this with mesh machine. So Y and on chamfer. There we go. Altex, and then we can actually bevel this or chamfer it manually. So. Um, you know, like that. Let me see that here. We got some double verts. There we go. And chamfer. And Altex. Awesome. And the rest is good, yeah. Peachy. And here, you know, in the back, you could have some, uh, I don't know. Some capacitors or whatnot, another cylinder, make it smaller, make it longer, and um, apply scale, and then I just round it up here, and I rotate it here, and we can put some interesting shapes in this area. So let's just scale this and create this kind of a shape here, sharpen, bevel, and, you know, difference, and then select this, and settings, and shade solid, scale a bit, mirror, mirror, and done, so. Right. Okay, maybe it's too deep. Lower the bevel here. There we go. So we got this kind of a you know situation. Looks pretty cool. There's a sheeting problem here. And the reason for that is because the bevel doesn't catch it. So what we can do is switch bevel from angle to weight. So it's gonna catch all these edges because hard ups here um, assigns B weight with sharpen. So same here to be honest, you know, these edges are not catching. See, and this one too, all text. And then what we can do is I change the bevel here too. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Let's just fix it. There we go. And this one, what the fuck is going on in here? Wait. This needs to go. Yeah, and then all text. And then this one should be beveled too. So then I can switch here to wait. And it's gonna bevel all these edges. Okay. Cool. Here too, you got some cuts, so you know. Just had a little bit of, um, you know, a, a bit of um, shapes. Shift V here and nearest edge, and longest edge. Let me see that. Still doesn't work interesting. Sometimes doesn't catch properly. If that doesn't work, go with line box and you know hold control align here. And then press W control and sharpen this and you're good to go. It's gonna add a little bit of a. Uh, I don't like how this aligns here though, so we might actually grab that and assign local orientation, select all these, 
handle g y and move it in here but it's gonna move this edge as well you know let's just go back yeah there we go and recover this g y or z z or x x there we go and move it in here i think this is gonna be better yeah it's a little bit better cool so we got that um here we could have some elements as well maybe some kind of a vent or like a larger um, um larger you know wedge cut maybe kind of like this so e cut in and we could create a vent here like this so grab a normal cut and then press v x Screw the mouse and have a look. In. There we go. Pretty cool. Sharpen. Looking good. Okay. I think we lost cavity. That's much better. Here in the top, in the back, we could also have something. Maybe like um, um, some kind of uh, you know handle or some such. So what we could do, we could do it with a cube. Um, let's just grab a cube here. There we go. Move it in. And scale this. Actually, wait. Something like this. Okay, and then apply scale. Then, you know, create a bevel here. Control. Um, I'll take to the side now. Here, shift curve extract inside, delete that cube, sharpen this. You know, we can actually bevel this, and it's gonna be faster. And then, um, visual to mesh and bullions union. Awesome. And here on the top, could create another opening like this. and x and slice it so it's going to slice it here in the middle so be an additional element here and we could have two more you know kind of cuts here and mirror to the other side and also mirror this one there we go looks nice here we could have some you know decals or whatnot on in this on this side could have additional kind of cut in here Shift T, some kind of exhaust, what not. And we can do it with decals, guys, you don't have to worry about that. Some kind of a port, you know, to I don't know, update and the software or whatever. And I think we're done, guys, in terms of modeling. This one also could be chamfered. So slightly chamfered. And turn off loop slide, alt X. And I think it's gonna look peachy. We could lower the bevel here, so we're going to have different sizes of bevel, which is going to be pretty cool. It's going to make a different mud, you know. Now, this one could be actually coming out a little bit, yeah? So, let's apply that. And maybe either, maybe we could have tilted, you know, like this. This could be interesting, I think. Let me see that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So here, an easier way to do this uh, would be to remove the bullion or basically remove the mirror. Mirror to the other side for the time being, right? Okay, apply this. Right, and then run the chamfer here. A larger one. Yep, and then cut it. Okay, and we'll delete uh, mirror, right? And I think it's gonna be better. Cool, guys. Well, there you go. Very simple Mac head, and I think all now it's left to do is to texture it. Let's just run the chamfer here too. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, here we're gonna run another chamfer. 
think it's gonna be better. And probably want a better connection here. So I'll create two connections here and move these two. It's gonna be cleaner. Okay. Well, cleaner. Right? Peachy. Yeah, we could have some kind of like a clip here, you know. In fact, what we could do is we could grab this loop here and control click on curve extract, which didn't work because it's mirrored. So here, what the hell? Okay, let's just apply the mirror and try again. Also, after applying the mirror, what the hell happened to the to the bevel? There we go. So let's grab this edge now, right? Let's collapse it, okay? And bring it in here, and then EX, and extrude it here. Maybe let's make it smaller. EX, Alt X, and let's just bevel these Alt X, and then uh, mesh tools and curve extract as to smooth it right? and let's just uh, move cursor here change pivot to cursor and rotate it up here we don't need that we need some kind of like a holder here in the bottom right so kind of like a you know mechanism is going to be locking that so let's create something really small here all right and then cut it through Hold shift, click, and then rotate it. Switch it to individual origins. Let's uh, move this one a little bit forward. And this one needs to be deeper. There we go. Okay, move it in here, sharpen, how are we looking? Yeah, it's alright. So let's just bevel these and booleans union and sharpen. Okay, now we're going to have to apply sharp edges in here to fix the shading and it's gonna be peachy cool so there you go yeah that's looking good I like that nice and also we need to mirror this to the other side and this one and we need to mirror the clip And I think we are uh, we good to go. Also, we lost the edge here again. So there we go. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. A very simple mech hat, and all you need to do now is just to texture it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.